Hey everyone, today we are going to put together a DIY car shower. Stay tuned. Welcome everybody to the channel and I'm super excited to present to you our first DIY video. Now attaching a shower to your car may seem a little weird, but Skylar, Ahi, and I do a lot of adventuring in the summertime and it's really helpful to be able to wash off ourselves, our gear, or the dog. So in today's video, we'll be putting together a DIY shower that mounts to the top of my Forerunner. The shower will hold about two gallons of water, I'll be able to pressurize it, and I'll even be able to mount a shower head to the roof rack on my Forerunner. So here I'm just sketching out my rough idea of what the shower is going to look like. I think I'm going to use some four inch ABS pipe, cut it to a length of about three feet so it fits on my roof rack, and put a Schrader valve at the top of the 90 degree elbow, and a hose bib at the end of the tube. So I went to the hardware store and I picked up a 10 foot stick of four inch ABS. And this is what we're going to be using for the shower. Okay, and here are some of the other parts that I'll be using to make this shower. Because I wanna go for a bent shape, I picked up a four inch 90 degree ABS elbow. I also have a four inch clean out adapter the 4 inch clean out plug, a regular 4 inch cap, a garden spigot, and a Schrader valve. So all of these parts are going to come together in a weird shape, but I'm super excited to get to work on this and see how it all comes together. Alright, here is my 3 foot section of the 4 inch ABS. I just cut it using this handsaw. It cut pretty easily, I'm sure there's a million ways you could cut it. But it looks good, I'm ready to start putting this together. So my basic idea is to fit this Schrader valve at this cap and the hose bib on the cap that'll be at the other end. Alright, so I've got a hole here. I'm slowly working my way up to about a half an inch, which is going to be the size of this. Ahi is helping me out. What do you think, Ahi? But anyway, we're going to try and get this up to about that size pretty soon. We'll see how it goes. All right, all my fittings are clean. I went in and I rubbed them down with some alcohol and got all of the dust out. And now we are going to start putting together the shower. Okay, so this is the finished product, and I think it looks great. The Schrader valve is up here, we have the hose bib mounted at the end here. It should hold just enough water to be able to wash the doggo or any of our gear off. Now all we have to do is mount it to the car and test it out. Here is the shower all mounted up, ready to go. And I am super stoked with how well it turned out. I love that I was able to tuck it under my fly rod vault saves a little bit of space. So when I'm ready to fill it up, I just unscrew that top cap right there. It holds just over two gallons, which is perfect. And over here you can see where the hose hooks up to the shower, and then I also put together this little holder for the garden hose sprayer right there. It's just a conduit hanger and a carp fishing clip. Some weird thing I got on Wish for like two bucks, but it works out. So I am going to pressurize this thing, fire it up, and see how it works. All right, everything's pressurized. Turn this. Woo! Oh, so I switched the shower to more of a misting nozzle setting, and I've been out here for a couple of minutes, and it's still going strong. The pressure's holding well. It looks really good. It's got a lot of distance from my car, too. So I think this is going to work perfectly for the summertime. 
Here's a close-up of how I have the shower head mounted. And the nice thing is, it kind of just opens up like that. So anytime I want to put the shower head in, just push down and it clamps it in. Alright, it's finally starting to run out. Say it's been about eight minutes. Still misting, but yeah, it's pretty much out now. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our first DIY video. It was super fun to put together. I may switch it up a little bit in the future just to have more clarity throughout the entire video, but I'm glad I got to show you how I put together that shower for my car. Stay tuned for some more awesome content coming your way soon. We've got a lot in store and we can't wait to share with you. Thanks. See you soon.